Hello everyone and welcome back to Southern Miss TV. I'm Dima Mixon. And I'm Clarissa Yule. A Darius McCormick takes a trip to the wild side in the Golden Eagle Spotlight. And this past weekend, AFSP and USM School of Psychology hosted a walk to raise awareness for an important cause. And HubFest's 35th anniversary came to downtown Hattiesburg area on Saturday. Stay tuned for this episode of Southern Miss TV. Golden Eagle Spotlight gets a little bit wilder this weekend. Southern Miss Student Media Center reporter Adarius McCormick takes a trip to the Hattiesburg Zoo to speak with the Director of Conversation, Education, and Wildlife, Jeremy Cumpton. He shares his role in all of the other fun attractions visitors can partake in at the zoo. Come take a look. Welcome to Golden Eagle Spotlight. I'm your host, Adarius McCormick, and today is a very special edition. We are not in the studio today. We are at the Hattiesburg Zoo. Come on, let's see some of the exhibits. Okay, and across from me is Mr. Jeremy Compton. Can you tell us what your position is here? I'm the Director of Conservation, Education, and Wildlife. Okay, um, you guys just recently broke your record for like most attendance in one day. What was your initial thought when you found out you guys won that award? Well, we spent that day running around <laughs> and thinking that we broke that record. It's always a sense of excitement when we see uh, as many people as we did on that day. I started off here almost nine years ago and we had uh, very little attendance happening at the time compared to what we have nowadays. And so at the end of the day, when we did the count and we made the radio call, we broke the record. It was just this sense of lightning you can just feel in the air with people taking pride in it and seeing that we actually are able to see the numbers reflect the amount of hard work and passion we put into this job. Um, can you tell us about these 100 species that uh, packed out the zoo that day? Uh, as far as the animals that we have here at the zoo, so we have all different types of animals here. Uh, they belong to a taxa, a cloth. Uh, so we've got everything from as big as giraffes to as small as frogs, and everything that's in between that. Uh, protected species, endangered species, and of course, we have everyone's favorites, such as giraffes, uh, such as giraffes, such as uh, zebras out there as well. The ones that you expect to see whenever you come to the zoo that gets you extremely excited about. Um, so I heard you last week talking about one uh, animal that people thought were in danger. Could you tell us a story about that animal? Oh, you're talking about the uh, Chacoan peccaries. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, yeah. So we just got those Chacoan peccaries back in 2021, and we were very excited to see about it. It was a Florida species, which was listed by the ungulate tab, which is a ton, uh, tax on advisory group. Uh, I know. <laughs> uh, we People ask how we get our animals, and that's how it is. We go through tax and advisory groups, species survival programs, scientific advisory groups, uh, who are groups that look at the populations that are in zoos currently, and they look at what genetics will be like with this current population as far as 99 years down the road. And so they look at some species who might not have as much of a representation in the population across the zoos, and they say, okay, this one we need more space for so that we can get more of them. Uh, we can populate more of the species and we can make sure that they will have genetic diversity that is viable for long term. Okay, and um, can you tell us about the animal uh, care and management here? It's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do everything from enrichment and training. Those are two very basic things that animals need. So for enrichment, it is species specific. So what works for one animal might not work for another animal, for instance. Uh, just like with people, some people enjoy one type of movie more than another type of movie. We have animals that might enjoy one type of scent more than another type of scent. Well, mm -hmm. that same scent might affect them both differently. You give a rabbit scent to a serval, to uh, some type of predatory species, they're going to have a much different reaction than you would if you gave it to another rabbit or something. So that's mm -hmm. uh, Training, we train for everything from blood draws with animals to opening mouths, we check dental records. And then, of course, populations and making sure that we are managing those appropriately. And there's a whole bunch of other things that go into it. It is a very extensive <laughs> job that we have here. So when I came in, I could see the train going around the zoo. Uh, can you tell us about any other attractions here? And so we have, the, of course, that train we're just talking about. We have the ropes course in the back that has the mining suits with it as well. We have the carousel. And then we've got just the other fun things you can do here, such as the petting zoo, the wall of you walk about, uh, which are always a fun time for all ages. Okay, one thing I do want to know more about is the sloth experience. Can you tell us about that? It's our most popular program, probably. 
It sells out anywhere between three to six months in advance. And it's where people get to go and they make the sloth diet and they get to feed the sloth, take pictures with the sloth. Sometimes, depending on the sloth's mood, uh, they get to hold the sloth. Uh, we don't want to make him do anything he doesn't want to do. So if he's having a bad day, then we say, okay, you get to pet him, you get to take pictures with him, you get to feed him. It's still an incredible experience. But it is all up to him at the end of the day whether or not he wants to participate. Okay, and can you tell us about any events you guys have coming up or anything like that? Of course, we have the Exotic Adventures, uh, the egg hunt coming up here at the Hattiesburg Zoo April 16th. And that will be fantastic. And then we have Earth Day where another conservation project we have is on Earth Day, we have uh, Mississippi milkweed seeds, which is Asclepia tuberosa, the scientific species of it. Uh, we give those packets to people and then we have we make little uh, little seed bombs, and we let them go out there and plant those around. It's a native species. It's great. It's one of the things that the monarch butterflies use whenever they come into Mississippi in order to raise their young on. Mm -hmm. And it's a great way to get people hands-on conservation initiative. Okay, Mr. Jeremy, thank you for talking to us. We learned a lot. There's so much more to you. Everyone come back out. You just let us know. Okay, I appreciate you for talking to us. Oh, uh. yeah. <laughs> back to you guys in the studio. Remember, there's always something happening at the Hattiesburg Zoo. If you'd like more information about everything the zoo has to offer, visit HattiesburgZoo.com. Coming up next after the break, AFSP and USM School of Psychology collaborated on an out-of-darkness walk, and downtown Hattiesburg celebrated the HuffFest's 35th anniversary this past week. But first, let's take a quick look at your current five-day weather forecast. <laughs> optometrist and USM alum Dr. Katie Edwards announcing the opening of the new Green Eye and Midtown Optical in Midtown Hattiesburg near USM. At Green Eye we have a great selection of contact lenses and the latest in-style eyeglass frames including environmental choices made from recycled ocean plastics. College students receive 10% off all self-pay services, eyeglasses, and contact lenses. Call to schedule your appointment today. At a time when misinformation is all too common on social media, we take great pride in bringing you the news that matters, that impacts your family, news you can trust. Local broadcast journalists bring you the facts, covering the stories breaking in our community and across the globe. Text TV to 52886 and let Congress know you depend on local journalism. This message furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters. AFSP partnered with USM School of Psychology to host the Out of Darkness Walk. The walk was to raise awareness and money for those who are affected by suicide. Southern Miss Student Media Center reporter Huey Turlich has the story. Campus and Hattiesburg local organizations gathered at the event to support suicide prevention and awareness. While the day was emotional, it helped in the healing process. Uh, my name is Buffy Brooks. I'm with Out of the Darkness and I come here every year to help with the suicide prevention walk. Uh, it does mean a lot. Oh. It does mean a great deal to me to do this. My daughter passed away 16 and a half years ago at the age of 17. So being a part of this and doing this really helps in the healing process. 
the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention joined with USM School of Psychology to host the Out of the Darkness Walk here at Bruce and Virginia Wilgus Fitness Trail March 26. Over 100 gathered in support of suicide prevention and awareness. Well, the walk was meant to raise money for um, AFSP. It's meant to raise money for their mission to um, go out into the community and give them different resources, um, kind of show people how they can talk to their friends, talk to their family about actually um, looking and recognizing the warning signs for suicide. This is Huey Turlich reporting for the Student Media Center. And just remember, your story is never over. For any students that feel it as if they may need it, USM's counseling service are available from 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. Appointments can be made on their website at usm.edu forward slash student dash counseling dash services. You can also reach them by phone, which is also available on their website. Mental illness is a battle, but it's not one you have to fight by yourself. HumpFest's 35th anniversary came to the downtown Hattiesburg area on Saturday, March 26th. There were over 200 plus vendors for food and crafts and live entertainment everywhere you looked. Southern Miss Student Media Center reporter Abigail Troth has the full story. Though the event had a two-year hiatus, HubFest made its grand reappearance stepping out bigger and better than ever. This marked the event's 35th year. It's awesome. It, it makes such a big economic impact. We literally have tens of thousands of people down here. Uh, we had a wonderful day, beautiful day. The weather cooperated. We had four stages of live music. Had Laney Wilson just headline the Main Street stage. 200 art, crafts, and food booths. So it's awesome for people to be able to come out and enjoy downtown Hattiesburg. Hattiesburg residents were able to feature a day full of fun, art, music, and crafts. It has really helped us. All the people we've met have been so kind and friendly. Yeah. Yeah. The event gathered people from all over the South, but even some familiar Hattiesburg faces made appearances. This event gathered family and friends for a day full of fun and many activities. The booming live music and food kept guests entertained. It's events like this that remind us just how precious the Hub City is. Abigail Troth, SMTV. So, Clarissa, did you go to Hub Fest? Yes, I did. And how was it? The weather was nice, the food was, cool, was, was good, and I had Freshly made kettle corn, popcorn. It was good. So, what was like the best food? Was the kettle corn? Uh, yeah, because I tried this plate that I paid twenty dollars for, and it was quite dry. But anyway, well, other than that, I had a good time. That's good. I mean, <laughs> the weather is the most important part. Yes, it was beautiful. <laughs> uh, when we come back, Golden Eagle baseball and tennis takes home multiple wins in the sports recap. And the community calendar has a sweet event for students to participate in. Stay tuned. What do you think you're doing, Kevin? I uh, was just gonna drive home. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, there are several warning signs present that you shouldn't be driving. Like hearing voices? Like your text to emoji ratio? Oh man, the selfies. <laughs> Selfie nailed it. We all have warning signs that let us know that we're probably not okay to drive. Mine is pretending to be your subconscious. Craig, come on man, let's put a ride home. If your husband gets lung cancer from smoking, be prepared to spend a lot of time together. Eight, eight, one, seven, nine. Just not the way okay. either of you imagined. The people you love are worth quitting for. You can quit. For free help, visit cdc.gov slash tips. Hmm, maybe you can make retirement happen. After all, you made home ownership happen. Homeschooling yourself on loans, beefing up your credit score. So I'm pre-approved. You were like, yes! Sorry. Color coding listings, ticking boxes, and flushing every toilet in a 20-mile radius. Home sweet home. You aced house hunting. Now get the tips you need to get on track at aceyourretirement.org. Southern Miss Student Media Center is proud to offer local businesses an opportunity to advertise on SM2 Digital Media, WSM Radio, Southern Miss TV, and The Student Prince. Promote your business or event with the Southern Miss Student Media Center at USM. Think of your ad reaching over 6,000 students on social media, SMTV, 
WUSM Radio, and The Student Prince, a combination you can't beat. Our in-house creative team is ready to produce your commercial or digital ad. Advertise your business on SM2. Give us a call today. There were many wins and losses this past week in Golden Eagle sports. Let's pass the camera over to Nathan Lee, who has it all on our sports recap. Thank you. Southern Miss Baseball had a perfect road trip last week when they defeated the New Orleans Privateers 12-8 uh, and swept the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers in the weekend series. The Golden Eagles made a mid-game uh, rally on part of three home runs from Christopher Sargent, Slade Wilkes, and Carson Bateau, and four and two-third quality relief innings from Isaiah Rhodes to close out the victory over the Privateers. Southern Miss then finished the weekend with a sweep of the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers to bring their season record to 17-7. The first game of the series was the only close one with a 10-8 finish. Southern Miss was able to overcome the eighth-inning rally, uh, eighth rally from the Hilltoppers to capture the victory. The Golden Eagles will go on to outscore the Hilltoppers 25-2 in the last two games of the series. Southern Miss baseball returns home for a three-game weekend series against the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs starting on Friday, April 1st at 6 p.m. This week's player highlight goes to Southern Miss junior first baseman Christopher Sargent as he was honored as a Collegiate Baseball National Player of the Week. Sargent earned this honor with his recent hot hitting during a 5-0 week for the Golden Eagles. Sargent hit a at a 600 batting, at batting average, going 12-20 with three doubles, five home runs, and 15 RBIs during the winning streak. During the New Orleans game, Sargent hit 2-5 with a double and a game-tying three-run uh, three home run in the fifth inning. Sargent then went on to dominate the Western Kentucky series, hitting 10 of 15 with home runs in every game of the series. Sargent also had a two home run game in the second game of the Hilltopper series, the first one for Southern Miss since June 7th of 2021. This is Sargent's first weekly award this season, but he hopes to add to his trophy case if he keeps helping the Golden Eagles win. Golden Eagles softball could not get back on track this week after getting swept in the weekend series against the UAB Blazers. This ups their losing streak to five straight, with only one win in their last 11 games. The Golden Eagles have plummeted to last place in the CUSA West standings with a 1-8 conference record after their current losing streak. Southern Miss fought hard in every game of the weekend as two of their contests went to extra innings, but they were unable to overcome their recent struggles. Golden Eagles softball now hits the road for a quick doubleheader on Tuesday, March 29th, against the Jackson State ja uh, ta Tigers and they'll return home next week for a game against the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Southern Miss women's tennis team swept the Mississippi Valley State Devilettes 7-0 on Sunday, March 27th, to clinch their 30th straight home victory. This is the team's sixth sweep of the 2022 season, and it pushes their record to 10-2 on the season with a 1-0 conference record. This is the first time this season the Golden Eagles women's tennis team has won every set in a match. The Golden Eagles will look to keep their dominant play up in their next contest against the Alcorn State Braves on Tuesday, March 29th, starting at 2 p.m. The Southern Miss men's team had a similar success as the women this weekend when they swept the Mississippi Valley State Devils in both matches by a score of 7-0. Just like the women's contest, the Devils were unable to take a single set at the Southern Miss Tennis Complex. This victory for the Golden Eagles gets the team over 500 with an 8-7 record on the season. Still, they remain winless in the conference with an 0-2 record. Southern Miss will finish its current home stretch, on home stretch on Tuesday, March 29th, against the Alcorn State Braves at 2 p.m. Back to you. Thank you, Nathan, and congratulations to Christopher Sargent for making Player Highlight of the Week. Now let's take a look at the community calendar with Jeterica Wilson. There's a fun battle waiting for students that's both sweet and satisfying. Take it away, Jeterica. <laughs> Thank you. 
As always, the community calendar is ready to deliver exciting fun for the Hub City. This week, USM has events and performances lined up for the students looking for some fun in between and after classes. Starting with the annual Art and Design Student Show, located in the George Hurst Building Gallery of Art and Design. This showcasing is an opportunity for art students to express their creative achievements in the visual arts, and they would like to share their hard-earned works with you. Students all over the Hattiesburg campus can visit the gallery and the many artworks produced by student artists ranging from painting, drawing, ceramics, and digital photography. The Art and Design Student Show is free to the public and opens on April 4th from 8 to 5 in the evening with other dates listed on USM's events calendar. Make sure you don't miss out on this opportunity to support your fellow Golden Eagle artists. Blitz Spirit by Noel Coward hits the Gilbert L. Hartwig Theater this Friday. This classic comedy tells the ghostly tale of a love triangle between a man, his late wife, and two women in a story that's been delighting audiences for 70 years. All of Hattiesburg is invited to watch this hauntingly hilarious performance. The performance runs on April 1st at 7.30 p.m. with repeat openings beginning on April 2nd and 7.30 p.m at a mantee on Sunday, April 3rd at 2 in the afternoon. The cost for student tickets is $8.75. For faculty and staff, it's $11. Don't miss out on this performance. And for the ultra competitive with a sweet tooth, Smack has the perfect event waiting just for you. Cupcake Wars comes to the Union Lobby on Wednesday, April 6th. From 11 to 1, you can join in a battle of frosting, batter and whipped in this deliciously sweet duel right here on Hattiesburg's campus. This event is open to all students, so make sure you don't miss this tasty event. Here at Southern Miss TV, Community Matters. If you would like to submit your next event for the community calendar, please send us an email to sm2.news at usm.edu with your event details. This is just one way we thank our community for watching Southern Miss TV and supporting us here at Southern Miss Student Media Center. Back to you. Thanks, Jeterica. I'm Diva Mixon, and we hope you enjoyed this episode of Southern Miss TV. Remember to follow us on all social media platforms at Southern Miss Student Media Center. If you'd like to submit a story, topic, or be a guest on one of our upcoming shows, email us at sm2news at usm.edu. I'm Clarissa Yule, and we'll see you next week on Southern Miss TV. The University of Southern Mississippi Student Media Center is the heartbeat of the USM experience. The center is home to dozens of producers, writers, and visual artists of all types. In addition to news, entertainment, sports, music, and other programming, the center hosts a vibrant strategic communication division. It's made up of teams working on social media, advertising sales, graphics, and more. Everything is produced by students and for students under the guidance of the Student Media Center professional staff. The center is housed in USM's School of Media and Communication, just down the bricks from The Rock and the Student Union. 
School director Ed Simpson says the Student Media Center serves as the loudspeaker for the USM student voice and the training ground for the next generation of media professionals. The Student Media Center is where our students get hands-on experience in real-world situations. That's because what we do serves real audiences and real clients. Whatever you see yourself doing, the Student Media Center has a place for you. We ask our students to find the truth and then tell it in a way that's compelling. When students produce something for a live stream or for the radio, they know they're going to get it right. Working here in the Student Media Center, when we say hands-on, it's not a slogan, it's what we do. The Student Media Center is the voice of the Golden Eagles and home to the next generation of truth-tellers, storytellers, and all those with the energy and desire to express their hearts in the fields they've chosen. Join us. Southern Miss Student Media Center is proud to offer local businesses an opportunity to advertise on SM2 Digital Media, WSM Radio, Southern Miss TV, and The Student Prince. Promote your business or event with the Southern Miss Student Media Center at USM. Think of your ad reaching over 6,000 students on social media, SMTV, WUSM Radio, and The Student Prince, a combination you can't beat. Our in-house creative team is ready to produce your commercial or digital ad Advertise your business on SM2. Give us a call today.